What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. Today, we're focus in on our Brandon Carlo of the Tri City Americans, a very big defenseman, six foot five, about 190 pounds, and you know, really looking to fill up that frame and you know, become an effective all-around defenseman. Um, you know, going into his second year next year up in the dub. Um, again, draft eligible in 2015. Uh, I see him going somewhere in the first two rounds. He was invited to um, the U.S. Hockey. Uh, obviously the All-American Prospects game and the uh, World Junior Camp in, uh, in Lake Placid. Both obviously amazing things. And the Lake Placid would stand out more because he's a draft eligible guy. You know, usually and they screwed Noah Hannafin, but they brought Kahlo. Um, that's really, you know, not a knock on either player, but, um, you know, just pointing that out there. Product of the uh, Colorado Thunderbirds U16 program. Put up very good offensive numbers with the Thunderbirds. And last year, with Tri-City in his first year in the Western League, developed into more of a stay-at-home defenseman. You know, I think there's plenty of room to expand upon his game. He's a guy I would love to interview next year at the draft. I really love his upside. I, I think he's got the full package. It's just a matter of putting it all together because he's shown in other scenarios he can play, you know, in those um, in, in a somewhat offensive role. And last year, you know, took on a defensive role with Tri-City. And uh, they were growing pains. You know, he was minus 13 at 66 penalty minutes. But I think as he develops as a player, uh, psychologically, physically, um, it's all going to come together for him. And he's going to be a, a really sought-after commodity come draft time. Uh, a lot of places have him ranked in the second round. I see him. I definitely see him slipping into the first round um, because, again, I, I just I like what he put what he brings to the table on a night in night out basis. And um, you know, just really showing how to be an effective physical. You know, big defenseman use use his size effectively, and I think if he reaches his potential, I think he's a, you know could be a top pairing defenseman at the next level, and that's high praise. But that, that's what I see from this kid, and what I what I see that he can do. Um, you know, obviously there's going to be physical and mental growth, but I think both those will come. I think as they come, he will be a um, you know one of the top defensemen in the Western League. You know, maybe not next year, but the year after after draft year. Um, you know, the, the 2015. 2016 season, you know, I think that'll be, um, you know, really a year we see it all come together. But I think we're going to see a lot of flashes this year. I think he has an outside shot to make the uh, U.S. Um, WJC team. You know, do I think it's a, it's a he's a lock? No, but I think he, he's definitely be in contention for a spot. And uh, you know, I think Tri City between him, uh, Parker Watherspoon, Ty Conway, there's some pretty good uh, draft double players up there, and definitely a team that you know to keep an eye on as the uh, as the year goes on. Bottom line. I'm a Brandon Carlo guy. I think he's going to be a guy you hear about for a long time um, in the in the in the great game of hockey. He'll he'll even he'll make an impact. Anyway, that's our next episode of the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles on Brandon Carlo, the Tri City Americans, 2015 draft eligible defenseman. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the off season and beyond. Later, guys.